we all need a point grid sometimes, either as background or texture for example. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create one quickly using only one shape layer. Hey everyone, we use the pen tool and draw a horizontal line. That's the width of the grid. No fill, let's use a solid stroke fill color. Width, let's leave it at 20 for now. We then use a repeater, choose it from the menu here, open the settings, increase the number of copies. Then go into the transform group, set the position to zero and let's say 100. Next, let's add a few slider controls to get easy access to some of the properties. You can find it in effects expression controls. Let's add five altogether. Name of the first one, number of lines, point size, point distance, and grid animation. Let's go back to expression controls and add a color control as well. Points color. Next, let's link the properties to the slider controls. Number of lines, that's the copies property. Point color, that's the stroke color property. Let's link it as well using the pick whip tool. So obviously there aren't any points yet. We create them by adding dashes, very short ones, 0, 0,01 pixels. Then we click on the plus here and add gaps. Then change the line cap setting to round cap if you want round dots or projecting cap if you want squares. The size of the gaps determines the horizontal distance of the points. The size of the Y position in the transform group of the repeater determines the vertical distance of the points. We want these values to be identical, meaning we link the gap property to the point distance slider as well as the Y position property. Therefore, we need two variables. Var x equals, and we link to the x value of the property, Bar y equals, and we link to the point slider distance. Add an array below, x, y inside. You still can change the x value here and offset the lines by the way. Finally, the point size is the stroke width. So we link the stroke width property to the point size slider. And this is awesome. Let's add a trim paths animator below the repeater. Effects are processed from top to bottom. And we link the end property to the grid animation slider to animate the grid. Make sure trim multiple shapes set to individual to reveal single points instead of the lines. 